Yeah, listen here, all of you, very carefully. Now listen, uh, as I told you, we have two types of data types. One is value type and one is reference type, right? Yes. One is value types and one is reference type. Now, coming to the data types like, you know, integer, float, double, character, okay, boolean, those all are coming under value type of data type. Coming to the reference type of data type, the string and object will be calling under the reference type of data type, okay? Okay. Now, see here, value type of data will going to store in stat memory. Value type of data will go into stat memory and the reference type of data will go into store in heap memory, okay? Now, observe here all of you very carefully. Whenever, whenever some, whenever you are installing the Visual Studio, as I told you people, uh, micro operating system will allocate some uh, memory to the .NET environment, am I right? Suppose see, if, if uh, operating system is allocating 5 GB of memory to my .NET environment, my dot, my, for my .NET environment, among the 5 GB of memory, 0 0.5 GB will going to be allocated to stack memory and you know, the remaining 4.5 or uh, how much it is allocated, that will going to be passed to heap memory, okay? Mm -hmm. Now heap is a huge amount of memory and you know, if you want to insert the data, we need to check among the 4.5 GB of memory, which is a free space, and where the free space is available, where we need to insert the data. I mean, you know, there is a huge mechanism is available to store the data into the heap, okay? Now, coming to boxing in a sense, boxing means converting the data from value type to reference type. Value type to reference type, okay? Now, Value type means it was it is a stack to a reference type. Okay, a reference type. Now value type to value type value type to reference type and stack to heap. As I told you, it is time it will going to take a lot of time to store the data in a heap. So the conversion that is I mean stack to heap conversion will going to take a lot of time. So that boxing is more costlier, more costlier in terms of time, more costlier. Okay, boxing, boxing is the most costlier conversion. Okay, boxing, boxing is the most costly conversion we can say. And you know, unboxing in the sense, whatever the data that is present in a heap, we are just directly passing to the stack. As I told you people, stack, storing the data in a stack is very easy compared to storing the data in a heap. So, the, the, converting the data from heap to stack will be calling as unboxing. The unboxing is very easy and very cheap conversion we can say with the technically it is a cheap conversion compared to boxing so whenever you are performing whenever you are passing the values it is very we need to be very clear when which data type you are storing see integer a in the sense i mean you know 10 you are passing the same way you can able to pass string a is equal to 10 also the 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 string or integer will going to store either 10 and 10 before going to see about that, which is the data you are passing, how, what value, where, which variable you are passing, that all the things you people need to be very careful and you know, because you know, each and every time you are performing the conversion from stack to heap and heap to stack, that will going to take a lot of time and lot of uh, memory also and you know, you need to avoid, the st you need to avoid storing the data in a heap, need to avoid, need to avoid storing the data in, storing the data in data in heap. We need to avoid the storing of data in a heap. We need to avoid most of the time converting the data from value type to reference type because you know it will take a more more it will take more time. That is the reason must and should very careful that which type of data type you are taking and uh, whether we are going to transfer the data type from other to, from one type to other type at one time. That all the things we need to be have a very clear idea before going to work on the projects. That is the reason the data types like integer, float, double, character, boolean, those are going to store in a value type and string and object will going to store in a reference type of data type and converting the data from value type to reference type will be calling as, value type to reference type will be calling as boxing and reference type to value type will be, reference type to value type will be calling as box, unboxing. Boxing is more costlier work than unboxing. Clear all of you? Take a screenshot of it, make it fast. 
Um, I don't know for yeah, some reason, but the, the, the screen is a little blurry. I'm not sure why. Um, I think there I don't is know if anybody else. There. Anybody else has that problem? Mm, I'll just ask. Jayanti, are you there? No, I'm fine with the screen. Yeah, I'm fine with Okay, maybe. Mm, yeah, I think uh, um, in Anson, there is a problem with your network, I think so, Anson. Okay, I'll have to look into that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if you want, I'll increase the, some of the font size also so that it would be helpful for you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Take the screenshot of it so that we'll start the other topic. Okay. Completed all of you? Taken the screenshot? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Now we're going to discuss about programming part. We're going to discuss about string operations, okay? No, answer. I'm increasing the size of the screen. Oh, now okay. is it fine for oh, you? Yeah, Are you able to see? Much better. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Now listen here, all of you. I'm taking string s is equal to something like Kalyani Technologies. Okay. Now listen. I'm taking console dot write line. S dot P, whenever you are putting S dot, we can able to see so many methods here, okay? Now listen, I'm just checking my, you know, my string ends with uh, the value that is uh, capital S or not. Is it correct? No. It will return true or false? Well, I don't know if it's checking for, if it's uppercase or lowercase, right? That's what, and, that's and, what, no, we need to be matched properly. I just want to, that's what I'm asking you. We are, it is having a small case and it is having uppercase. Yes. False, right? It's only false, yeah. Good. Now listen, like this we have many things here. Now tell me all of you, what is the first index value? Okay. Otherwise yeah. I will do one thing. Index of something like you know. First index value A. Index otherwise like you know. Yeah. Now where the A would be available? Oh. First index, am I right? Okay. So index of A will go into written one. Okay. Now S dot. What is the last index of uh, you know? O small O. Thirteen. What is the index of this? That will going to be the answer for it. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct. Now, what is the index of uh, now? Just give me a minute, all of you. One minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, listen here. Okay. Now I'm taking S dot. Some other things will going to be seen. Some other things will going to see S dot. Length of uh, Kalyani technologies would be how many, how much length is there? That will going to give like that. Okay. Now S dot. I mean, you know, we have so many methods like this. I want to replace O with the R. So replace, replace is one of the methods. Clear? 
So will it be yeah, about, uh, to read the length of the Kalyani technologies? Is that console read key or is it um, console write line? Come again. You you should um, to read the length of Kalyani technologies. So that would be yes. reading the length. In, length is different. Okay. Yeah. No, length in the sense like for 0, 1, 2, 3, yes. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It will going to read like this and it will going to display the total oh, characters okay. that are available in the Kalyani. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Now listen here all of you very carefully. I will go into the other things. S dot. How ends with is there? It starts with also be there. Okay. Okay. Is it true or false now? Uh, it's false. Good. Because it's it not starts with capital A. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now listen all of you very carefully again. Substring. Now I want to find the string that is one that is there from one to four. What characters are available from one to four? Uh, A L Y A. A yes. 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 S dot. I just want to display entire data into the form of lower format. So two lower. All are in lower case letters. S dot two upper. Okay. Everything will go into display in upper case. Like this, we have some important functions in the string operators in our document. We are going to see the output of it. See here, all of you. Why it is came and went off? Because of console.read key is not there, right? Mm -hmm. Now listen, all of you, very carefully, I will try to run it. See? Mm. Mm -hmm. Is it start to, is it sense with capital S? No, false. Yes. Where A is available first index. O is in la, O last index is this index is 15. Okay, length of the Kalyani technologies is 21. I was replaced the O with R. See. Uh. See. Okay. Mm. Understood. Huh? Kalyani tech no. Lajis, right? O replaced with R, R. right? Mm -hmm. That's is capital A, false. L by A is a, you know, A L by A is a number from 1 to 4. 2 upper and 2 lower, right? Understood? Yeah. What mm -hmm. you people do is write these things in your notes. Not take the screenshot, make it pass, write this things in your notes because these are things these things are most important okay okay not screenshot only not helpful for you whenever you people are doing a project these things will help helpful for you a lot okay okay thank you yeah make it fast make it fast right now itself make it fast Started all of you? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, make it fast. I'm done. Okay, very good.
Listen here, all of you. We'll take other topic now. Okay. Listen. Completed, right, all of you? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now we're going to discuss about the theoretical part of object-oriented programming language. Anyone of you have any idea on Noob's concept? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Okay. Yes, yes. Abstract yes. Yes, yes. Now listen. Now, Anshan, is it fine for you? Shall I increase some more point? Um, yes, it's fine now. Thank you. Okay. Now listen here, all of you very carefully. Whatever we have discussed as of now, that is called as control, I mean, you know, procedural oriented programming language. Okay. Procedural oriented programming language. Now, what is the disadvantage of the procedural oriented programming language in the sense it is not providing good security, no reusability also. Security is not there, reusability is not there and you know, to overcome these two disadvantages that are present in a procedural oriented programming language, the Microsoft has came up with a new meta mechanism or methodology that is what we are calling as the OOPS features and the OOPS we have a basic four pillars are there. With the help of these pillars, we'll be able to overcome this two disadvantages of the pop. Those are like you know security and the usability. The four pillars like abstraction, abstraction, encapsulation, encapsulation, and you know polymorphism and you know inheritance. Okay, clear all of you? Yes. Now with the help of these four pillars, we are going to be overcome the disadvantages of uh, security and reusability. And before going to discuss about these four pillars, first we need to have a good idea on class and object. What is the meaning of class and what is the meaning of object? Clear all of you? Now, listen here all of you very clearly, we are going to discuss about the theoretical part of class and object today. Class means it is a collection of, it is a collection of data members and member functions. Okay? data members and member function. Now listen here very carefully. I have it, you know, if you want to prepare a car, if you want to manufacture the car, first you people need to have an idea on what are the parts of the car. Am I right? What, what, are, what are the parts of car? The parts of the car like seats, gates, doors, windows, you know. Mm. Am I right? Yes. So on. Those are calling as a parts of the car. Along with that, whenever you are manufacturing, we need to identify what are the functionalities of the car. That is, that means what are the functions of the car, am I right? Mm -hmm. The functions like start function, stop function, changing the gears. These are the functions. functionalities of the car, right? So that, you know, we need to be think very carefully for how the functionalities will work and, you know, what are the functionalities and, you know, what are the parts of the car. So that you have a plan in such a way, you know, you have placed the deadlines and milestones based on that you have completed manufacturing of your car. Okay? With the help of this parts and this function. So your car would be having all these parts and your car will work according to the functions what you plan. Now, well and fine. The car is ready. If car is ready, like you know, you have purchased, you have created a car, in, you have manufactured a car in such a way that is having, you know, all imported parts so like you know BMW parts something like you know RD car like those parts we have taken and you manufactured your car. Well and fine. But tomorrow the car is ready if the driver is not there but there is no use right for the car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same way car is a class. Class means it's a car. Mm -hmm. Driver means it's an object. Who will drive the car? Driver. The same way, car will, I mean, class will driven by object. Object will drive the class. Even though if you are manufactured that much costliest car, there is no use with that car without driver. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The same way for the class also, there is no use for the class without object. Even though you are, you, are, you know, I mean, uh, you are written a class, it is having about, uh, I mean, 20,000 of lines, 20,000 lines of code, 
the class 20,000 lines of code would be written by you know five employee five employees in a month i mean you know even though the class is uh, written and by use of uh, that many man a uh, human man, human work and you know if there is no object creation for the class there is no use with that the similar way the car uh, is required the driver the class is required the object okay mm -hmm. now listen here the class diagram into divided into three parts okay three parts one is class name and second one is data members and third one is member functions okay now listen i'm taking a class the name of the class is employee okay employee and you know data members are like emp id e name and designation and salary and department number these are the data members coming to the member functions i'm getting the data and you know i'm displaying the data these are the member functions of the class clear mm -hmm. like this employee is a class name and these are the data members and these are the member functions okay now i'm just trying to write the code for this class now listen i'm taking the class like this class employee and you know here in tmp id and what are the other variables employee name and designation i have taken and int salary and department number right clear mm -hmm. now for my class i have taken the variables now the method is first method is what get data so first method i am initializing here public void the method name is get data get data in a sense what we are we need to get the values so i am asking the user please enter please enter employee id employee name and designation and then you know, salary and department number okay Mm -hmm. Now, how to take employee ID in TMP ID? How to read enter integer values? Make it fast, all of you. Convert out to integer two. Console dot read line. Console dot read. Very good. Right. Now listen. Correct. Yes. how to read the salary convert dot to now how to read the department number and convert dot to to console dot to correct mm -hmm. now we will take another function that is display data function public void display data now you know we are trying to display the values Console dot write then emp id is how to read the employee id how to read read the data of employee how to display it? emp id correct mm -hmm. coming to employee name the employee name is e name right mm -hmm. and designation is designation right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and everyone of you are getting and then what about you no 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 hello yes I'm here yes sir. are you able to hear getting right yes so are you able to understanding the topic right yes now mm -hmm. salary good now department number is then department number is department number are you clear mm -hmm. now you have displayed the data you have get the data and your class is ready how to create the object now what is the name of the class em employee right. right to create the object syntax is Class name space object name is equal to new class name. Okay. Now listen. My class name is what? Employee. Employee. So employee ob object name is equal to new employee. Employee. Clear? Mm -hmm. Now ob dot get data and ob dot display data. Clear? Oh. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Now see. Ob dot get data means what? it will goes to get data method it will ask us to enter it will, it will prompt us to enter the employee employee name designation salary department number so i am entering all these values fine now after completion of the get data 
it will pass to display data it will it will prompt us to display it will it will goes to display data and it will going to execute the display data function and it displays the value okay now listen all of you very carefully now tell me any employee id 101 and i am giving the name as ansel and uh, you know there's designation as project leader and salary i am giving something and department number is sub clear Employee ID is 100, employee name is unsent, designation is project leader and salary is. If you people are thinking uh, everything would be uh, not having the uh, commas and all the things, we can able to make the comma and we can able to give some space also. Mm. Okay, now see, after employee name, they are having some you know, space. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now after uh, salary also, we are trying to give some space. Now I am trying to run it again. Now listen. I am giving one not uh, one and now JNP I am giving designation is project leader, salary and department of See, hmm. clear now, yeah. one not one hmm. and uh, JNP project leader and 10,000 and okay, take the screenshot of it, make it fast, every one of you, otherwise I will do one thing, I will share this code, I will offer to everyone, this class and this one, In the Skype hmm. I will share it with everyone other than taking many screenshots. Okay. Ping me every one of you one by one. Jayanti. Jayanti, I have shared you. And Anson, mm -hmm. you are there in the Skype? Yeah, I'm on. Mm -hmm. Will you please ping me once? Okay, I just sent it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah. Now. I'm sure you also ping me once, please. Yeah, we'll continue now. And you know, however, how I have created a class for uh, you know, employee class. You people try to create a class for student, okay? Hmm. Okay. Got it, right? Now I will give how the class structure for the student would be, okay? Student and you know, the student object variables are student ID and student name and designation. Sorry, student ID, student name, M1, M2, and M3 and result. Okay. Now the values are the data and display data. Okay. Okay. Now create the class diagram like this and complete it. And uh, we'll continue the uh, our next class is on uh, my Monday. Okay. Okay, your there Monday. is no class in the weekdays. On Monday, for sure, we are going to take the class in my morning only. Okay? Okay. So from, from next week, there is no schedule, uh, you know, maximum there is no change in the schedules like my evening like that. I will continue as usual in my evening only, okay? Sorry, my morning only. Okay. Okay? Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, complete this and share it with me. Along with that, uh, try to prepare your own material on boxing and unboxing as well. And if possible, try to share it with me also. If anything wrong is there, I'll check it and I'll uh, update you people, okay? Okay. Okay. At ma'am, at yeah. Monday, uh, at what time do you have class? My morning, uh, no, 8 uh, or 8.30, I'll bring you. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Bye-bye, all of you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Ma'am, I'll share it ma'am. Yeah, yeah, I'll check it now, Nana. Choose it. I don't